Hello, uh, YouTube friends. Here I am again, and today I'm going to recap uh, my previous week and show myself in the future and you guys what I am starting with this year, uh, fitness-wise and stuff. So I'm going to put in some workout clips, hopefully here, and my progress pictures for the first of the month and the first of the year and all of that and just share just random clips throughout my previous week so yeah um something that i have i'm talking so slow if i talk too slow you can reset the playback speed so that i'm talking at a speed that you can comprehend whether you need me to talk slower or faster when I discovered that, it was life-changing because some people talk slower than I can, that I'm needing to hear. So, okay, but before, let, before I show you those clips, I wanted to share with you a thought that came to me. Or actually, my son and I went to a Wednesday night prayer service at a ch local church, and a good thought they brought up that I feel like we all need to get, especially if you're a Christian or a believer of any, probably any religion for that matter, that at the end of the year, he had us close our eyes and think of something we wanted to accomplish this year or something you want to happen this year. And a thought came to my mind, here's what the most important thing I want to see happen this year. And he said, what if it doesn't happen? Are you going to be good with your relationship with God? Is that, are you going to, are you going to be okay at the end of the year if it doesn't happen? And then I wrote down in my planner here that I've shared with you in the last video. At the end of the year, if all I accomplish is a closer relationship with God, then I need to declare that I'm going to be content and at peace with that. That will be a success. That alone will be a success. So if nothing else happens, if I'm at the same weight as I am now, if I am, you know, financially, same, no changes. Relationships, same, no changes. Or even if some things don't go even that well at all. If my relationship with God is better, then that's a success. You know, I need to learn to be content in that and be at peace with that. He also mentioned don't get caught up in distractions. I need to sit down and be quiet and listen because he's the good shepherd and he will guide. Like they mentioned in Psalm 23.1. Um, so... My completeness comes from God and my fulfillment is only found in him and not in another person, not in my accomplishments. Um, seek him in his peace. Because there's no one else and nothing you accomplish can truly give you what you need. So that's something to really think about when you get to the end of the year. And... Again, like I said in this uh, last video I did, that I'm pretty much speaking to myself in December 2024. Are you content? Are you at peace? You know, can you look back over this year and say, you know, it's all good. Even if things didn't go perfectly. I mean, I would love, I really, I would love to be at my weight goal, relational goals, financial goals. I want to meet all of that stuff like I mentioned in my previous video about some things I hope to accomplish and what I like to see go on there during this year. But all in all, if it all doesn't, and the only thing I've got is the Lord, that's all that matters. So here I am. I'm going to go ahead and probably... I'm, I'm going to have to do some kind of editing thing to put together video clips. Um, 
I'm probably use that uh, editing thing I have on my phone, the Cap Cut. If you have another recommendation for a free app that uh, edits, helps you with editing videos, I'm hoping it works out. If not, I will try to do other things. And then the music thing. Whenever I add music, I think even sometimes with uh, that app, the Cap Cut editing video thing, if you add the music that they have, I think it will still um, flag you as a copyright violation, I think. Um, at least I've had a few of those in the past. So just giving you a heads up, uh, music is, um, if there is, if I do add music, I'm going to try to do it through that and hopefully there'll be no issues. Husband just got done feeding the chickens. And I'm going to let you guys go on to the next clips to see what I've done this week. Happy New Year, friends. It's that time again. Starting the day off with my 20 ounces of water. Lucky greens. Let's start the year with a good habit. And I think a simple step in the day of starting the day with 20 ounces of water is a good one to go with. If, if you have to come up with some new healthy habit to do this year. Let it be starting your day with 20 ounces of water. And I like having the digestive support from the Alki Greens because I know I don't eat perfect all the time. So Alki Greens it is. If I can get anything else from First Form, it's going to always be the Alki Greens. I could only buy one thing for the Yachty Greens because it helps with bloating and digestion and your immune system with all the enzymes and green things in there. And it doesn't taste bad. It's natural berry flavor. So, something you can give a try. But yeah, do start at least with 20 ounces of water today. Give it a go. It'll make you feel great. already done here so I'm going to take that out. Look at that waffle. Isn't that pretty? Looks good. Take a quick little bite of that one. Mmm. The mashed up banana there makes it very moist. For If you have dry waffles, try mashed up banana in it. I'm going to throw in some blueberries in the next few. It's a great day to take a New Year's Day hike at a local state park. That's what we're doing. My son went ahead, took off way ahead of us. And it's just what he decided to do and uh, all that. So crazy, this place is not too far from our house yet. We hardly ever come. I don't know if you can, the, can be pretty high up. We're not even at the high point in this, on this mountain. So fun, fun. Hope you guys are having a great New Year's Day. Any background music will be provided by the CapCut app um, editing thing and hopefully won't get flagged for copyright. Um, so just going to be adding clips of my workouts here and I hope you enjoy the video. Playing a nice game of rummy. And David's got to lay down something.
I do hope to look back at the end of the year on this video and see that I've came a long way. That's the hopes. Um, I hope you guys are recording how your first week is going as well and come back at the end of the year or even mid-year and see if you've made improvements or if you need to make some adjustments. Um, here I'm doing the leg press and just working on getting stronger because muscle is the key to longevity and health. I hope you've enjoyed my workout clips and give me some feedback on the sound quality of this video. And if you want to enter the first form challenge, go ahead and do so. The link is in the description below. Um, I also enjoy watching my son come home and do something he's good at. I'll never tire of watching him do swimming because it's just, I can't do it that good. He's an excellent swimmer. And I was thankful that he was able to come home for a visit over the holidays. And I did, I always enjoy time with my kids because it's just, you know, it's a mom thing. So like and subscribe.